No, I love this big black guy. Yeah, he's awesome, man. He is cool, yeah. Oh, no, wait. Oh, we're talking about the koi. Oh, oh, oh. I was just about to say, man. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Jack and Nan. And today, we're getting more fish for the pond. We sure are, man. We're back here at Best and Pets, our local fish store that we always talk about. We always do videos at and stuff. This is their kind of back behind the store kind of pond area, right? Yeah, it's cool. It's like a little hidden gem that's yeah. only open in the summertime. We came here and got some other stuff. There's Connor. He's boxing up some dudes for us. They got all these tubs. We're going to flip this around. We're going to show you what we're getting. We decided to just keep everything in the pond that we have, even the little guys that aren't growing that much. We're just going to keep them in there for now. If they end up just kind of being plain as they get bigger, we could always bring them in the spring next year, kind of trade them in over here, because Connor always gives us great trading and stuff, don't you, Connor? Yep. Way to go, man. Let's turn this around see what we're getting here. All right, so let's show some of the plants they have here. Now, we can't keep, put plants because Larry eats everything, right? Yeah, he just destroys everything. <laughs> but they always have these tubs of hyacinth, three for 10 bucks over here. Yeah. Um, they've got uh, other plants, tadpole. They always have tadpoles here, right? Yes. And uh, we've got more tadpoles over here. These guys are turning into frogs. Snails, too. Oh, yeah, they have tons of pond snails and stuff. But again, we're not really going to put them in there because Larry will eat them. Lettuce and hyacinth, I think it's called. And then yeah. Crawfish and some more snails. Yeah, and unfortunately, we just can't put any of this in there because Larry will just eat yeah, it all. Just it. He he eats everything and anything. He tries to eat our fingers too. Yeah. He, well, I was in there cleaning it the other day. You guys will see when we get back. I was cleaning the glass because we didn't do it for like what two months because yeah. in summer the sun was higher and it didn't shine. Yeah, I was in there and he's just biting the hair on my legs and yeah, biting he my just toes. Anything, he he's just that. so funny. He's it doesn't even hurt when he bites. But anyway, these are the sarasa. We got uh, four sarasa. And uh, it, you could see, I think you could see, or look in the reflection. Got my Stubbs aquatic shirt on when I did the intro there. So Stubbs, you'll be happy that we're getting some Sarasa and we're getting some Shabunkin. And so you're gonna like him. He's getting the Shabunkin right now. So we got some of these, let's show them the ones we got. We just wanna show them what they have here. Uh, there's some more over here. They had a good deal on these. Got three for 25, really nice looking red ones. And then this is where we got our koi initially. Three for 40, we got uh, the butterfly koi. And then these are the, look at these, look at how red these guys are. These are the sarasa we got. Wait until you see these guys in the pond. Here, kind of hold these guys up real gently so we can kind of take a better look at them. Look at those guys, man. How cool are those? Look at that one that's got even on, the, on his lip. Isn't that cool? Yeah, they're cool. These guys are beauties. That, they're gonna look so red compared to like our like our orange fish. But look at the mustache. Dude's got like a red mustache. Yeah, they're That's, all they're all cool. Yeah, and I like I like the the ones that had the had the reds on their backs. Like the yeah, not just the splotch on their head. But I had to get the splotch on the head guy because he had the red mustache. Look how cool that is. Yeah, he's so awesome. And then you were bugging me last time we were here. Um, you really really liked this black guy. Well, I just said, thought he was cool and he was the only one that was like midnight black. Yeah. And he would blend it, he would uh, show out really good in our pond. Because we have the blue yeah. gravel and the blue lines. And he's pretty big. He's, he's got cool. like a gold bottom and they say it's very good luck to always have one black koi, right? Yes, it is. And uh, he's already pretty big. He's got a little <laughs> bit of something going on. He's got some white kind of just stuff. I think he's a little stressed out. What we're going to do is we're going to put him in a separate container we're gonna hook him up at home do guy. some aquarium salt and isolate him for a while and uh maybe even a week or so and then we'll see and then when he's ready we're gonna put him in the uh, pond but he's gonna stick out like a sore thumb with that blue gravel man he's gonna be amazing but uh, and you said we're gonna name him we're gonna name him blade right yeah the mighty blade you know they're rebooting blade we're very excited are, about yeah. that it's marvel cool. is but those were some of our favorite marvel movies were the blade movies yeah, they were early the on original ones. yeah so he's gonna be Blade. Frank, uh, Eric Blade was his name. Eric Cross Blade. Because you know he's like midnight black. He looks like he could right. some vampires. <laughs> he's, he's cool. Yeah, he's a daywalker Blade, which is super neat. So uh, you know, again, with our wonderful love of Marvel, we're gonna get this guy. So we're gonna see if we can't heal him up. He gave us a really, really good deal on him because he was looking a little funky. We're gonna see if we can heal him up, and, and we'll do a follow up on him. But uh, man, is he awesome. Got that really nice gold bottom and just black on top. So we're gonna fix him up here. And then he's over here and he's doing some other things. But let's show some of these other guys. These are some of the uh, kind of medium koi. This is where we got uh, Domino out of. These are lots of beauties. There's another one in here that looks kind of like Domino right there. 
with the black dots on top of that. And then over here we have some really big koi. And this is where we got the black guy out of. Well, he, he, we couldn't even see him because he, he was so like, like midnight to black, you couldn't even see him. Yeah, you couldn't see him in here he at all. The light blue, he's got There's blue. another uh, guy right here that's uh, black with the gold on him. And then there's a couple really big, these guys are big though. But anyway, these are the Shabunkin he got us so far. Look at these guys. So we're gonna take a look at these guys. And I think this will make Chris really proud of these guys are awesome. So we got the nice long fins, we got the gold and the white and everything. And so we're gonna pick maybe one or two more here to see where we're at. Great job, Connor, as always, right? So here's the rest of the Shabunkas. We're gonna pick some good guys out of here, get these guys home. Now I love this big black guy. Yeah, he's awesome, man. He is cool, yeah. Oh no, wait, oh, we're talking about the koi. Oh, 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 I was just about to say, man. What's up? It's Big G. What's up, baby? What's up? So we met, we met, I want to say it was two years ago during COVID. We were doing like a big tour of the store here, right? Yes, sir. And we met, and one of the things we talked about was come to your house. You're going to give us a tour of all your tanks and everything, we right? You still got to make that happen, man. So we got to we got to do that because people made comments under that video, and they said they wanted to see your tanks and everything. But then, you know, there was COVID, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. So, Hey, thanks for being in the video again. That was an awesome little skit. And we're going to definitely try to come out and we're going to see all your tanks some, sometime soon here. You're more than welcome. <laughs> Larry, what are you doing? Why do you have to try to eat everything? What? He's trying to eat the rubber band or the knot in the bag. It's not food, Larry. We got just some more fish friends. We always feed Larry when we get new fish though we're actually gonna put some peas in here I've been feeding peas to these guys quite often they love them so here's the sarasa kind of floating those guys got four of those beauty beauty beauties man and then here are the shamunkin and these guys are these guys are pretty big I think I scared them a little bit sorry these guys are pretty big can't wait to see what they look like they might not go right into the tank right away but this video is actually gonna be over the course of about a week or so isn't it, Lace? See, Lacey likes to go down there now because we got rid of the garden stuff, right, buddy? And you can turn around now, huh? Yeah, we had that garden stuff. She hated it. That's one of the reasons we got rid of it. Right, Lace? So this guy, Blade, as Jack named him, we're going to put him in this. We use this little cooler. This is our, this is our fish uber. And um, we're going to put about 10 gallons of water in this. And we're going to put him in here keep him in here for about a week or so. I'm going to hook up a little pump, get some air. And we're going to give him some aquarium salts and see if we can't fix him up here. And when he's ready, we will put him in the tank. Isn't that a good idea, Lace? Huh? <laughs> okay, so we got Blade in here. We got about five gallons of water. And Koi don't really need air, but uh, we're going to give him some air anyway. We got an old pump here. We got lots of these old pumps going around, uh, sitting around here that we don't use a ton much anymore. Um, we did give him a couple of peas and a couple of pieces of koi food, and he did eat one pea and about two pieces of koi food. And so this is just aquarium salt. We got this sitting around all the time. We always use salt and stuff like that, and we're hoping to just kind of clear him up a little bit. We're just going to kind of leave him in here for about a few days, and then we'll kind of see what happens. Lacey's checking out, right, Lace? She just wants a pea, right? I'll give her one. <laughs> She's like, I want those peas, dude. So we, uh, we've we been feeding peas pretty much in general to these guys. Yeah. We, we kind of been, we, we give them some other food. We give them some worms. We have but a lot I mean, of night crawlers that we get out of our um, big compost area over there, like where we put our leaves. And part of the reason is that we've changed that is because we want to be a little more, uh, pay a little more attention to what we're feeding them because, of course, we're growing all these sprouts out of the pond. And so, you know, go ahead and dump those peas in there maybe half as much. We did release those other fish and they're kind of hanging out the bottom. Uh, Larry's behaving for the most part, but we just kind of want to feed them because we do usually try to feed fish when you first get them. Should I put it Look up at Lacey. In the, above the... You can, and some of them are going to float and some of them aren't, and we've kind of been doing this for a while and now. Even if they don't float, they just go... Down yeah, they'll go on the bottom and get them. But sometimes they float and then Kame usually grabs those. You can see the fish go for them right away. Larry's going for them right away too. The ones that float to the top, uh, Kame will eat. And then she'll come down, of course, get the other ones. Now you can see these Sarasa look magnificent. You can see they're a little bit smaller than the koi. The koi that we got about a month or so ago are growing and doing well. And these Sarasa really look red. 
compared to the comets. Um, some of the comets, you see them picking at the peas, they'll actually tear them apart and eat them. So we have three of the big kind of gold, and there's one of the shabunkin. You can see the shabunkin are actually pretty big. Two of them are actually quite large, almost as big as the as big as big domino there, which is the koi we got about a month ago with the other butterfly koi. This is the bone we keep in here for them to chomp on. Um, so there's the some of the shabunkin. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. And they're pretty big. They're about as big as that koi is, uh, the, big, uh, the big koi. So they're chopping away on these peas and everything like that. Uh, there's Larry. Go ahead and put some more in there. And uh, I'm just gonna put them right in the front there. Yeah, yeah. If you if you if you put them in the put some in the tank too though, because see, Kame likes to eat up there. See how she waits up there? She's so funny, and she'll grab those ones that float to the top. <laughs> there's Larry. He's going for some too, but she'll go around the top and she'll eat those. Now, if she's still hungry, she will go down to the bottom and she will grab those. But a lot of these big shabunkin and koi, they have big mouths and they'll grab a, two or three peas at a time. The peas are very nutritious and wonderful for, uh, for these guys. And you see that big shabunkin there, he's grabbing some. And if they're still a little cold, they, we let them thaw, but if they're still a little cold, they'll kind of spit them back out. You see these guys are chewing on one each there. Uh, yeah, those shabunkin are about as big as domino. And she'll obviously probably get to be the biggest. But, yeah, they're really cool. Let us know what you know, what you like about them, Chris. They do look pretty cool. I like their speckled looks. Yeah, they're quite speckled. Those three are gold and white. And then we got one that was a little more bluish looking. And I think, I don't know where that one went. There's definitely one that's more of a blue shabunkin with speckles and some gold accents. Let me go around the back here. But they weren't shy at all. I mean, they, they blended right in to, there's a couple of Sarasa. They look really good. So what we'll do is we're gonna pause this for now. We're gonna, is that okay, Lace, that we pause it? She's like, I want some more peas, man. Um, we're gonna give Blade a few days. We're gonna see how he does. Kind of keep him right here and um, see if we can't fix him up a little bit more. Just stirring the water around and giving them a little bit of extra, you know, uh, room air and uh, some salt. And we'll see how he does. And hopefully he's okay. And we're going to put him in here after a few days and then we'll kind of finish this video. But they're all just going to chop on these peas here tonight and eat them up. And like I said, when she doesn't have any more up there, she'll go down to the bottom and she'll eat about 10 or 20 of them easily herself. So she'll clean up whatever they've left and then when she chews them up into pieces, they, you know, you see these little guys, they'll tear the little pieces up, but she chops them up and then they kind of finish. That's one of the things that people make comments about how the substrate in here is so clean. Um, but uh, it's just because the turtles dig through it all the time and the fish clean it up and everything. So it just stays super well, clean. Yeah, it gets tossed around and everything. So. Hey, while we were filming this dude, Big G just texted me. I just saw the text come up on the screen. <laughs> and he was like, hey, totally awesome to see you guys again. We definitely have to make an appointment. I'm excited, you know, I'm excited yeah. to visit his humble abode. His lair, he said, yeah, his, you know, a fish lair and man cave and all this. So really, really, really nice guy. We met up there during COVID and we were gonna go over and we weren't able to. And so it's good that we met again. We kind of lost touch. So really good sport doing a fun thing. It was just funny because when you we're trying, we were trying to tell Connor which one to get. He's trying to go for the gold and black one, the smaller. And you were right. like, no, the big black guy. Well, because he blends <laughs> in with the bottom because he eats black fish, and midnight black fish, he blends it with the bottom. It was just funny because yeah. he came walking in to the pond room. We were looking the other way saying it. And he's like, what the heck are you guys talking about? And he's chill. He's cool. <laughs> and then he remembered us. We remembered him. But we decided to make a skit. How funny was that? That was cool. That was so funny. And he loves the fact that we're naming him Blade because he's a Marvel fan like us. So hopefully Blade uh, does well and survives and does good because it, I'll tell you what, he's gonna show up awesome gonna sick, against this gets, blue gravel. He gets big too, he's gonna look Yeah. So here we go guys, that's where we're at. We're gonna pause this for a little commercial break or whatever you wanna say. And then hopefully when we come back, Blade will be all right. And he'll be in the pond with the other folks here. And uh, some of these other Shabunkin and Koi will be, maybe we'll put some floating pellets in so they kind of go up here and we can see them better and everything. All right. Be back in a minute.
All right, man, it's Friday. It's been about six days since we brought these guys home, huh? Yeah. You had your first week of 10th grade, huh? Mm -hmm. How's that going, man? It's cool. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Well, this uh, this uh, blade guy, we left in the salt water for about three days, and he seemed like some of that white stuff on him went away and that, so we put him in here about three days ago. Let's flip this around. Let's take a look at how everything's going on here. Lacey, what do you got? You got your duck? You got your duck? <laughs> We're gonna take your duck. <laughs> Lacey doesn't want to be in the video today. She's having a moment with her duck, huh? <laughs> She's just staring at you like, don't take my duck. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, well, so this, these guys are actually doing really, really, really good. Um, we put that guy in here, Blade, and he is probably the biggest one in here. Oh, there he is right there. You can see him down there. Let me go. Oh, there he comes right up the front. Now, he does have a little bit of gold on him. And he uh, kind of started hanging out with Domino. So, again, we don't know who's a male, who's a female, or whatever. But him and Domino are the closest, like, related. And so they seem to be hanging out. They were come in the same, uh, con well, containment area that they uh... Yeah, even though we got down to like a month beforehand, they were in the same area. They might have, he might have been in there. That's a pretty sure. And she was in there. But anyway, they're a little shy, but for the most part, everybody's doing really good. You can see the two of them there. He does have some little gold accents on him a little bit. The um, koi that we got last time, Domino, and then these guys are doing great. Now the Sarasa have taken right to the tank. They're hanging out with the Comets. They're hanging out with the other guys. They look great. I love that one with like the red lipstick, you know? <laughs> yeah. Super cool. Now the Shabunkin, I'm gonna kind of sit Shabunkin down here. pretty cool. You know what, why don't you get some of that floating food and throw it in here. We don't, we don't really feed them this that much anymore, but oh, you can see they're all looking at me. There's a reflection, but Jack's gonna put some up in here to see if they go up in there. Now the Shabunkin, are really quite big. They're, the one is almost the size of Domino. And uh, you can see they're kind of going in there, coming out the other side. We'll see if um, he can't coax some of these guys up into the thing. Just put it up under the tank, yeah. We'll see what happens. So Larry's ready to eat, he's always ready. He sees you coming with it. <laughs> Probably gonna need more than that because these bigger koi go up there and eat it. Now we have been feeding them the sprouts. You can see the sprouts are doing fantastic. We eat about a jar or two of those every day and we just rotate them. Um, and when we open it, <laughs> yeah, so there's Domino. When we open those, we do give them some sprouts. They like eating the sprouts. Yeah, there they go. All right, here we go. <laughs> so, Domino's pretty big. She takes those on whole. There goes Larry. Larry wants to grab some. And so you can see the one Shabunkin right there. And, and he did have some torn fins, but they're growing back. That was just kind of being in there. And this is the one that uh, we think kind of has that blue look about him. Kind of speckled calico with like a gold white and some blue about him. So that's pretty neat. And then this one here is the big, huge kind of gold one that is speckled. Not really more of like a pattern or blotchy thing, just white fins and gold and speckled. And that one is almost as big as the koi, almost as big as Domino. There's one of the Sarasa right there coming up. And uh, most of these other guys up here right now are the Comets. And... There's one of the Sarasa. Let me come up here. And you can see, oh, there's the one with the red lipstick right there. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so there's one of the, that's the Shivankin that we think is kind of more of a blue look. There's Blade, doing awesome. And uh, I really do like this one here with the kind of like the speckled and it has the black fin and then has the blue look more about them. 
So, really cool. Some of them aren't coming up in there because they're still a little shy when we feed them, but some of them have come up right away. You trying to get her ducky from her again? She's upset. She doesn't want. She doesn't want to give it up. And there's some of the comets. You can see how some of those comets are doing really good, getting bigger. Got all the patterns. Yeah, that's uh, that's the one that's that's really cool there. His fins are coming back. So we'll be doing some feeding videos. Of all these guys, they'll get less and less shy, and they'll kind of come into the thing and into the tank and all that. Um, there's another one of the Sarasa. That's a really nice one. Oh, there she goes. She kind of comes up, grabs a couple, and goes back down. Big uh, koi there. You can see some of are about as big as them guys already. So anyway, just wanted to kind of do a follow-up on them, show you how everybody's doing. This uh, blade is still a little bit shy, but uh, he's coming around. There he is in the back there, I think. Yep. Oh, uh, he ducked in already. He kind of hangs around more the bottom, but you can see he's kind of coming around. Does have some gold accents and kind of gold on the bottom, but seems to be doing fine. Took kind of a day or so to acclimate, and now he's swimming around and doing well. So anyway, we're going to kind of just let this continue to go. Feed him the sprouts. When we, when we rinse the sprouts, we'll give him some sprouts. Uh, we'll give them peas. We will give them floating food once in a while just to kind of have it go up to the top. You know, if you want to do a video and kind of show you guys how it all looks and everything. There he is. There's Blade coming back through. Kind of looks like a big black shark, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, that was just such a funny, funny scene when you and Connor were there and there was two black guys in there and you and Connor were just going back and forth. Not that black one. I want the other black one. Yeah, we were being quite descriptive about it. It was so quite, funny quite because... Funny. Big G walked in and he and I are like smiling at each other. And he's like giggling because you two didn't realize the way you were saying it was just so funny because he so was I right want. behind you. Anyway, he thought it was funny. That's why we did a little skit about it. But we're actually in contact with him. He's very excited to see this video on our pond. And hopefully we will get to go take a tour. We like to go to people's houses and see their fish tanks and their man caves and all that kind of stuff. And... Um, or she sheds or whatever they call them, whoever it is and whatever they do with their tanks. But there's uh, there's big old Kame there eating away there. She's doing so good. She's getting big. She's getting quite big, but Larry still tries to chase her and uh, she is pretty much just ignoring him now all the time. <laughs> she wants nothing to do with them. So we go, guys. We'll probably do a feeding video soon like we like to do in this. We're very, very happy with these guys. We're very happy how they've all worked out in the spring. If it seems like there's a little bit too much or it gets too big, we'll probably take some of these comets out. We'll take them back. There's a lot of people that like to use the comets to, like, if they're starting a new pond or in the season because they're pretty cheap. And then that way, if something does happen to them, you know, they don't feel like they lost too much money or something. You know, like that or whatever, but uh, some people just want them too. Look at that one. They're on there scooting along. Those guys are so amazing. Those, like, I can't wait to see how much bigger and beautiful those, those guys get. Those butterfly ones. Look at those guys. So, totally awesome. We're going to go over here and say bye to Lacey, right? <laughs> She's just sitting here. Usually she's walking around the pond. Yeah. But you, you're all about your, your ducky right now, huh? She's mad as heck. She's like, no. <laughs> no. Even if I look at her, she, she, she grabs it. <laughs> Do you like the koi pond, Lacey? It's funny because she wags her tail because she, she wants you to chase her. She thinks it's fun. But she's like, you're not getting my duck. <laughs> Say bye to everybody, Lace. Okay. And maybe, maybe if we go see Big G, maybe you could go with us to visit, huh? Would you like that? We'll see if he wants to have you come visit, all right? <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. Take it easy. Bye.